Um, today we're just going to touch a little bit about, um, we're going to just discuss on the basics of the different skin types. A lot of us are not really familiar with our skin types and that this is very, very crucial in understanding what your skin type is. Mainly because um, if you don't know your correct skin type, you are going to use wrong products on your skin and then your skin is going to suffer. So we are going to focus on the basic skin types, which is uh, what most of us are probably familiar with already. Um, normal skin, combination skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, and dry skin. Uh, when we take those into consideration, we we can also categorize it, uh, but we'll deal with those basics just for now, so to let you know, to let you um, get more familiar with it, and then we will go more in depth as we go along. Um, <clears throat> firstly, we'll be discussing um, how you, as an individual, can remain with a younger, healthier, beautiful-looking skin. So, what is the first thing that we need to learn? Uh, you must determine a proper skincare regime. It is very important, yes, the cleansing, the toning, and the moisturizing on a daily basis. It is very important. Some of us tend to think that we don't need to do it because our skin looks good, but you will be affecting your skin. Your skin will be affected and you will see the harsh elements of the skin showing up later on if you don't pay particular attention to it now. So, <clears throat> uh, we must consider what our skin type is. Uh, many of us are confused with this aspect of the skin and so we rely on the over-the-counter clocks to help us. Uh, so when we go to the, to the stores to purchase something, we ask, you know, what do you think I should use? And then you base it on that. Now that may not necessarily be what is required for your skin so that in using it, you, you go about using the wrong thing and you do a lot of damage to your skin not knowing until later on. Uh, so let's try to prevent this problem from happening now and uh, um, try to analyze our skin properly so that we can use the proper products, we can use the proper foundation on our skin, the proper um, powders on our skin and uh, we can have healthier looking skin even at a later age in our life. <coughs> so <coughs> let's start by... Um, first, looking at the major skin types that we have, the, we have, as I said, normal skin, um, <laughs> which would be classified as skin with the right amount of oils, <coughs> and even skin tone, skin that suffers very little um, blemishes, very little skin condition, the skin is supple, um, you have, it produces a moderate amount of sebum, sebum which is oils, so that you have that supple, radiant, glowing look on the skin. Um, the elasticity is good and the skin is, is very good in circulation and healthy looking. So that is normal skin. Then we have um, dry skin. Uh, a lot of us, because of the harsh weather that we are exposed, or the harsh elements that we are exposed to and even harsh products, tend to develop dry skin at some point in time. Um, dry skin has no oils. It looks lifeless. Um, sometimes you would find that it's flaky and feels tight and it's very, very, very prone to wrinkling at an early age. So if you feel for, for some reason that you have dry skin, I advise you to please start using hydrating products on the skin and drinking lots of water to put back in uh, to uh, maintain a pH balance on the skin. That is very, very important. Um, <clears throat> it can, you see, the dry skin is caused by when the oil glands are inactive and they don't produce enough sebum. So the skin um, lacks the lubrication that it needs to produce the oils. And we really don't want that because for women particularly, we are so conscious of our skin, our face, our eyes, so that uh, when we uh, use harsh elements and when we have dry skin um, no matter what we try to use it, it it still does not look as radiant and as healthy and this is what it's all about maintaining that healthy look um, okay so we've touched on dry skin now we have oily skin now three quarter of the people that I deal with on a daily basis have oily skin yes um, we 
Now, oily skin can be derived from a lot of different reasons. Some people develop oily skin over a period of time, but mainly oily skin is caused by the glands that produce the oils, too much sebum. Therefore, it leaves the skin with a kind of greasy, slippery texture, you know, and um, this type of skin, it's prone to um, blackheads, or should I say commodones. Um, it develops a lot of blemishes and stuff very quickly. Um, this condition results from the sebum trapped in, this condition um, results when the sebum is trapped inside the skin. <clears throat> And it gets caught up with the dust and the dirt and stuff like that. Then you tend to get um, a lot of blackheads and whiteheads and all that. So we have um, oily skin. Is when you look at the skin, it's very very shiny. With or without product on the skin, it looks very shiny. Um, people with oily skin also tend to have enlarged pores or clogged pores uh, because the sebum is so filled. The pores tend to stretch. So um, whereas there is an advantage though to oily skin in that uh, um, the skin remains younger looking and it's even more supple but um, there are there are downfalls to oily skin as well in that um, you tend to get a lot of breakouts you tend to have a lot of skin conditions a lot of different problems occurring in the skin the enlarged pores you have blemishes in the skin things that we women really don't want to have so if you if you you um it can be controlled that if you want if you want there are products that you can use and i strongly recommend that you don't continue using products that also have oils it makes no sense so um we will get into the the the, the way we control the oils on a later basis i'm just touching on the different skin types so that you can be oh you can become more conscious of the type of skin that you have so that you can start purchasing the proper product um, in our next feature we will talk more about um, how you can know your different skin type how you can know the type of skin that you have and <coughs> what is the best product that you can use for your skin um, what we have next we have sensitive skin um, sensitivity uh, can be dry normal or oily uh, the skin is considered more delicate. Now, sensitivity is derived from the Langerhans cells, which is um, a, an internal condition. Now, sometimes this uh, sensitivity can sometimes be um, overrated and it can be misinterpreted. Uh, some people tend to think that they are sensitive when in really and truly they are reactive, not sensitive. But um, to touch on what sensitive really is, is it reacts adversely to environmental conditions, cosmetic, um, any sort of cosmetic containing alcohol, or any sort of synthetic oils or t oil type ingredients, artificial coloring. The skin tends to burn, it tends to be thinner, it's delicate with fine pores, um, it flushes easily and is very prone to broken capillaries. Uh, also, you have like frequent allergies. And it can sometimes be rashy or um, it can have blotches on the skin. Yes, um, that is basically sensitivity. But again, um, sensitivity is something that can happen over a period of time by um, people using uh, wrong products or harsh products in the skin that can actually cause damage. And uh, when you damage the protection of your skin, which is the acid mantle, your skin becomes more sensitive. So that when you do now have to do some sort of repairing and regenerating of the skin, it's so sensitive and it burns so much that you um, you feel you're sensitive. But in in truth, you just you, your body is just reacting to all the harsh chemicals that it was exposed to. So there we have we have um, sensitive sensitivity. So we've covered normal skin, we've covered oily skin, we've covered dry skin, we've covered sensitive skin. Let's look a little bit on combination skin. Combination is basically um, normal to oily or it can be normal to dry, depending on the, the skin itself, or depending on the person's genetics. It can be inherited, it can, it can happen over a period of time. Combination skin... Uh, let's say it stems more to the oily side you would have um, where you're prone to acne and if it stems more to the dry side then you're prone to wrinkling 
So there are the different types that you can look at and when you do that you would know for sure what is the best thing that you can work with on your skin. Um, now I don't want us to get too confused with all the different skin types because there are so many others. Um, if you have any questions or if you are concerned about what your skin type is and you really want to know so that you can start using the proper stuff I strongly recommend that you call me or you send me an email and I will be sure to respond to you as soon as possible um, because it's very important at this stage in our lives it's uh, very important that you understand a proper skin care regime you know um, proper cleansing is very very important and the only way to do uh, to, to actually do proper cleansing is to make sure that you are using the proper products on your skin uh, if you don't cleanse properly the rest of the skin care regime the rest of the skin care regime will suffer um, the benefits of proper cleansing is where we flush out all the impurities of the skin all the impurities that is on the skin from the daily harsh elements that we're exposed to we prevent breakouts we um, remove dead cells and we encourage new growth in the skin so it is important to practice it's just like brushing your teeth every morning it's something that we do on a daily basis you it is your skin your skin is your largest organ in your body so if you don't take care of it then you are going to suffer the the consequences eventually so just like make it a regime just like brushing your teeth in the morning you wash your face yes it's something that you do morning and evening wash your face never Go to bed at night with makeup on. Never do that, please. Because the debris of the day, the, the debris from the day, along with the makeup and the dirt and the oils, tend to clog and choke and stifle the skin from breathing. And this can do more damage than good. Your skin needs that rejuvenation and it needs the cleansing before you go to sleep because th this is the time where the skin does its rejuvenation when you're asleep. Now, if your skin is, if your pores are clogged, you, when you're sleeping how how are your cells going to breathe and how are they going to rejuvenate so do yourself a favor and do a regime of cleansing proper cleansing in the morning proper cleansing at night and you are going to see tremendous results with the skin what is also very important is to make sure that the, when you're choosing the cleanser you choose something that has um, that is not very high in alkaline that the pH balance is not over 7 because our skin is supposed to maintain a 5.5 balance. So try to choose something that is um, very less, that is less, 5.5 uh, balance in the skin. Don't use anything that's too harsh that can cause damage to the skin. Um, we also need to focus on um, toning and moisturizing, which is also part of the regime in terms of taking care of the skin. So once you um, get into the habit of doing cleansing, you must tone. It is a must. You must tone to put back the pH balance into the skin to um, get the excess oils out of the skin. And uh, you, uh, you have the, the skin maintains a, an even skin tone with the toning. So cleansing, toning and moisturizing is a must. You must... Uh, <clears throat> I strongly recommend that you moisturize, especially to prevent wrinkles. Yes, especially if you cleanse, you must moisturize because then you're taking away some of the oils that is on the skin. So you must moisturize to, keep, to maintain that hydration and maintain that suppleness on the skin. Um, now, I don't want to, to to bombard you with too many of um, the details of skin in just this first lecture, in this, this first feature. So what I will do, I would... Um, I would gradually, as we go along in our next feature, talk a little more about it. And now I'm hoping that today's feature has alerted some sort of awareness to each and every one of us, and uh, that you will try to better understand your skin and try to figure out exactly what is your skin type and work with proper products and, again, um, proper foundations and, and powders and try to work with stuff that will be adaptable to your skin and not products that will do more damage to your skin if you notice that you are seeing in large pores on your skin you know for a fact that you've never had those before and you're seeing it now bear in mind that you're using the wrong product if you've noticed that your skin is drier now and it, as it was before you're using the wrong product 
So if you have questions on what you're using, if you have questions on your skin type, things that you're not sure of, feel free to call me and I will only be too willing to help you. Um, as I said, I'm here to answer any questions that you may have on skin and I'm here to assist you along the way to maintaining beautiful, radiant looking skin. Looking forward to talking to you next week. Take care now. Bye.